In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the progress bar in VB6. Start by opening up Microsoft Visual Basic 6.0. Create a standard EXE. Go to Project, Components. Scroll down until you see Microsoft Windows Common Control 6.0. Click OK. Go ahead and add a progress bar. And add it fairly in the middle. Add a button. Change the button to caption to start. And then go ahead and double click start. Now what we're going to have them do is they're going to type in type in option explicit. Okay. Now what we're going to have the user do is when they click start it's going to ask for two user prompts or input boxes to store the information. It's going to ask what they want the maximum value to be and then what they want to count up by. So type in up here at the top, type in dim max as integer dim value as integer. Go back down to command one click. Make sure you press tab and type in max equals input box and uh, parentheses put a parentheses and then quotation marks and type in what do you want the maximum to be close quotation marks press comma and for the title put another quotation marks and type in max close the parentheses now type in value equals input box basically the same thing open parentheses open quotation marks but this time we're going to say what do you want to count up to or what do you want to count up by to the maximum to the max close quotation parentheses or comma quotation marks again type in value since that's what we're asking is the value that they want except they don't know what value means because they don't use VB or whoever's using this program <coughs> so basically what you're saying is you're asking for an input box where they're going to click and type in whatever they want and when she does that it's going to store it as the variable max and for this one value go ahead and type in timer1 enabled equals true and I forgot to add one go back to your form view and add a timer make the interval 1000 and enabled false you can leave everything else alone go back to the view code now at the top go to drop down go to timer 1 and we'll begin the code here. So we're going to use uh, the while function. No, no, excuse me. We're going to use if then to see when it's done. So, but that's coming a little later. But we're going to type in progress bar 1.max equals max. So we're going to say progress 1 bar 1, progress bar 1.max equals to max, the variable up here. So that's going to be, it's going to be set as. And then the value. So, progress one. One dot value equals equals integer progress bar one dot value. So you're saying it's the same thing plus value. Okay. So now we have that. Press enter. Now we're gonna start if then to make sure that it's not it goes over because if you go over it'll give an error. So if progress bar one dot value greater equal no sorry is progress one dot value greater or equal to progress bar one dot max then message box done 
and death. Go ahead and run the program. What do you want the maximum to be? Let's say 50. What do you want to count up by to the max? Count up by 10. And let's see, hold on. Might have done something wrong. Type in 50. 10. As you see, it counts up to 50 by 10s. Then when it's done, it clicks done. You mess around, try different things. Um, type in 1,000. Count up by 100. So count up 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and done. So this pretty much concludes the tutorial on how to use the progress bar in Visual Basic 6.0. Please visit my site at www.vb6beginners.com for more tutorials. Also check out my other tutorials on YouTube.